facing the Strike Force fighters. As most people already know, Zuffer has purchased Strike Force here, yeah? but people were thinking at the start that, um, oh, what the fuck? No, how the hell are you smoking my videos, man? Because I'm cool like that. <laughs> okay. Um, Hunger is shit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> wait, start again, start again, start again. <laughs> I'm Moe, it's Tim Fiabis here, and I'm here yeah, with Feral Instincts. How's it going, guys? And um, what we're going to talk about today here yeah, is um, U UFC fighters versus Strike Force fighters. Because to start it off, yeah, people have been. Uh, everyone knows, yeah, that um, Zuffer has bought Strike Force. And everyone thought at the start, yeah, that meant, yeah, that UFC was merging with Strike Force and all the Strike Force fighters was going to be straight into the UFC. Did you think that as well? You know what? Yeah? I, ha I actually did to begin with. I thought that since um, Zuffer and the UFC bought out Strike Force, I did immediately start to think, like, you know, Strike Force fighters would start fighting UFC fighters. It's kind of like, that's a, that's exactly you know, like belt merger or something, kind of like the voting went at, at the most recent Strike Force event. I know, man. That's exactly um, what everyone thought. I thought it as well, and I, w I went so hyper. It was so perfect. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, that didn't happen, right? Yeah. But I've always been like thinking in the back of my head, yeah, that that will happen soon. Because that's the same way how it was with um, WEC. WEC was their own company. Zuffer then, then bought, bought the WEC, and then later on, WEC merges with UFC. You exactly, know? yeah. So and now it's in WEC fight is in the UFC. Now, um, everyone's talking about um now in on, on Strike Force the other day we were watching it. Unfortunately Paul Daly lost. <clears throat> but don't, don't even remind me. I <laughs> I'm too depressed to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, me up. But during that Strike Force yeah, they were um giving a poll asking um how, who wants to see um UFC fighters face Strike Force fighters. Ninety six percent said um, yes, four percent said no. I honestly think those four percent are morons. To be honest with you, <laughs> that would actually be a really good thing. I mean, could you imagine Nick Diaz versus George Saint Pierre? I know that, that's that's exactly that's exactly what I was just about to talk about. One of the Strike Force guys was saying was saying a brilliant match. He said Kung Lee versus Anderson Silva. That would be a good. Fight. That would be a terrific fight. That would be an amazing fight. I could picture how that one went with Kung Lee doing his crazy little side kicks and Anderson Silva with his front kicks that knocks out Vito Belfort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. These, these guys are wicked, yeah? Um, got Dan Henderson, you know, who'll be back, coming back in the... In, in a way, he'll be back in the UFC then if that happens. Yeah. That well, actually made me think to myself, like, since the UFC kicked out Paul Daly because of the incident with Josh Koscheck. Mm -hmm. What would happen with him since, you know, since the UFC has bought out Strikeforce? I think, I, I don't know, I, that I'm not really sure. All I know is that Dane, um, Paul Daly was actually considering to just go into the, to Bama, you know, because they say that they respect the work he puts in and everything there, yeah. you know, and he could have been champion if he'd made the weight cut. Yeah. But man, yeah, Paul, Paul Daly is a really good fighter, and he did actually put on a very good show against Nick Diaz. I know, and you know, and you know what Dana White tw um, tw tweeted earlier. He respected uh, his performance. He liked it. Yeah, I, I honestly couldn't see. I, I can't think of anyone who wouldn't like that performance. It was a very good fight, back and forth. And forth, they both got rocked on multiple occasions. I Although know. I do think the stoppage was a little bit premature, but overall, it was a good fight. I, don't, I can't say the fight was the, the stoppage was premature. Paul did fall down very wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> it he, looked like he got blown over by thin air. <laughs> he he went, I, I push you off now, now I fall over. You but, know what I mean? But man, UFC f um, fighters versus Strike Force fighters, everyone's been waiting for that. I mean, yeah. one of the. All right, one, I don't know if um, Fedor Lemonenko still s signed to Strike Force. But can you I think I've heard that he might be retiring now since his loss to Fabrizio Vadum and uh, Bigfoot Silva. Ah, damn. I don't know if that's true, but that's something that I've heard. And imagine Bigfoot Silva versus Cain Velasquez. That would be a good fight right there. Although I have to say Cain Velasquez would probably win, but 
that would be a very good fight. A very, very good fight. But that's my personal opinion. Yeah. I think Kings Velasquez could win. Anyone can agree or disagree, but that's just my opinion. The thing is, yeah, with um, U UFC, right, because yeah, quite a lot of people, yeah, think that UFC is clearly just a higher level than Strike Force, yeah? I don't believe that's always the case, yeah? UFC's got fantastic fighters, but people need to realise Strike Force has brilliant fighters as well. So my personal yeah, opinion yeah. is they definitely need to do this. UFC fighters versus Strike Force fighters. Yeah, to see who, like, which of the top level fighters in the UFC can match up against the top level fighters, the, the top level fighters of Strike Force, to see who is ultimately the pound for pound best in the world? Yep, pound for pound. Pound for pound, bro. Man, we're, we're, everyone's waiting for the big match, which is Anderson Silva versus GSP. But GSP oh, yeah. versus Nick Diaz, Kung Lee versus Anderson Silva. That's pretty brilliant as well. Yeah. Thing is, is Kung Lee even still fighting? He's not fought since June 2010. I honestly couldn't tell you. I haven't seen anything on him recently. I've seen little clips of him here and there, you know, backstage talking to people and giving interviews and stuff. But other than that, I haven't heard any word of a of a new bout happening. Well, we're, well, we're gonna have to come back to that one later on, though. But um, mm -hmm. I will want to ask you guys here: yeah, What do you think here about? Um, UFC fighters, yeah, facing them, um, strike force fighters, because my, in my personal opinion, it'd be fantastic. This is how they should do it, because since how the companies are still running independently on their own, strike force is still doing their own thing. Although they're owned by um, Zuffa, um, Dana White has given Scott Coker, you know, the means to do everything that he still wants, and UFC do what they want, yeah. What I believe they should do is at least one event every two months, maybe just one event every two months, they have the UFC fighters and Strike Force fighters come into the same arena and they sort up they sort out fights between them. Yeah. That that that's 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 how I believe they should do it. Is that how you think they should do it? That that actually would sound like a very good idea. Like they just set up the whole like this whole separate stadium that just like commemorates the whole collision of Strike Force and UFC fighters and then like you said, once every couple months or so they just put on this fight card of UFC fighters versus Strike Force fighters. That would actually be really good. And then as time progresses and depending on how well the community receives it, maybe then they start doing some uh, title merging fights or something. Mm. Title merging, that sounds br pretty brilliant. Yeah. The one thing I also cut. The, the one thing I'm glad about that Strike Force is on UK TV now is I get to see some yeah. of the, the ladies fighting. And you know, yeah, that I'm a fan of Chris Cyborg. <laughs> I know you were actually telling me on Skype about how Chris Cyborg would just murder anyone. Like if you had a girlfriend who was a MMA fighter, you're just like, no, yeah, don't basically, fight Cyborg. Basically, basically guys, yeah, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you guys yeah, what I said to him yeah, yesterday. Um, what I said yeah, was if I ever had a girlfriend, right, yeah, and she was an MMA fighter and I heard her next opponent was going to be Chris Cyborg, yeah, I'd be scared to shit, yeah. And, you know, I, me personally, right, yeah. I would rather fight Mike Tyson in his prime than fight Chris Cyborg. That lady <laughs> fucks up your face. She batters you. Fuck. <laughs> I, I am not kidding. Yeah. You know what? I haven't really seen anything on Chris Cyborg. Like I haven't seen. Just, many just watch. Just watch the video. And listen, just watch but the yeah. video. Yeah, between her and Jan Finney. Watch the video yeah. between Jan, uh, her and Jan Finney. That's the S beat. Since that you've been talking about it, you, you make me want to go out and like look up some of her fights because she sounds very dangerous. <laughs> she is, man. She but she battered Jan Finney. She battered her. Not it was it was it was um sure dogs beat down of the year. Really? Yeah. So I'm that, to look that up so, then. So we've got everything about um, UFC and Strike Force out the way, yeah. Why don't we talk about something a little qu quick? Um, all right, um, let's talk a bit about um, UFC 129. Are you hyped for UFC 129? I would definitely say so. Yeah, there's been a lot of hype surrounding that. I mean, in a sense, UFC 120 ta 129, sorry, is sort of a title merger. Like you have the previous champion of Strike Force now coming for the UFC title against George St. Pierre. So in a way. It is kind of a strike force versus UFC bout when you think about it. Yeah, it, it definitely it definitely is, and um, obviously we want more of that to happen. But right now we're going to have to deal with just Jake Shields versus GSP, and I believe it's going to be a fantastic fight. These are two well-rounded fighters, really well-rounded, yeah. and it's someone who's really going to test GSP's wrestling to the max. 
you know what I mean? And before yeah. that, we have the co-main event, yeah, which is one of my favourite fighters, Jose Aldo, yeah. He's going to face Mark Hominick. Mark Hominick is probably going to be the most dangerous striker he's ever faced. And, but, and you know, he's really going to test Jose Aldo's striking. He's re this is going to be a fantastic match. I can see 129 being a very good lineup. I can picture a lot of good fights happening there, especially the, the title match. I know, and then we also got Randy Couture versus Machida. Who do you think is going to win out of them two? That's a tough one to call. If Machida can keep it standing, then I would say Machida because he. everyone's been talking about this for years. Machida is a very elusive fighter, so I would say that Machida, Machida could win if he kept it standing. However, if Randy gets him to the ground... I would say Randy would take it. The thing is, Ra Randy's got Randy's got pretty good stand up when he's doing his dirty boxing. His dirty boxing is disgusting. So yeah, not only does not only does Machida has to keep it standing, he has to keep a distance. But I don't yeah, think Randy's going to allow him that, that distance, that, like two inch so, distance or something. Yeah. So for my prediction, I'm going to have to say Randy's got this one for the Mark mm. Hominick and Jose Aldo fight. I'm going to back up my boy Jose Aldo. He's going to do it. And for GSP versus Jake Shields. You know, I, I've make got the to right say, choice Jake, to attempt. make the right choice. You know who's going to win. Don't even try and lie to yourself. <laughs> I know, man. GSP's going to do it, man. Exactly. <laughs> what, did you think, did you think <laughs> I was going to say Shields? <laughs> yeah, for a second then. <laughs> I, I, I have to admit, yeah, Jake Shields, he's done a damn lot of work. He's done a damn lot of good yeah. stuff, yeah, and he's really a good fighter, yeah. But I'm sorry, guys, yeah. GSP, man. GSP. Come on. <laughs> Yes, peace, son. That's all I've got to say, man. Absolutely. GSP's yeah, man. got one. So, man, once again, guys, yeah, just put put your comments in there. What do you think here yeah, about the UFC yeah, versus um, Strike Force? We just wanted to do this quick little short blog here. That's right, down there. All right, I'll guys. Down there. Down yeah. there. Or we'll make a video response. It's up to you, but either way, respond. Yeah, but man. That's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say, guys. Yeah, so thanks, yeah, to Fair Wings. Things coming into this video. Not a problem, man. Take it easy. Uh, thanks very much. I'll see you later. And I'll see all of you later, guys. Yeah, thanks very much. Love who you are. Peace.